This is an anemometer that I 3D printed. It's a very popular file on Thingiverse that I got for free. You can install a little Hall Effect sensor and use it as an IoT wind speed measuring device, which is pretty cool. But I thought the design needed a couple updates. That's right, welcome back to the internet's favorite hair growth time lapse. It's honestly amazing that it's already past the autumnal equinox, and this is how you know. Oh, sh that really scared me. For the base of my anemometer, I started with basically the same design that the other one has. I just wanted my own design so that I could have the exact dimensions and because I like avoiding using other people's files if I can. Now my first thought was to add little 608 bearings in each arm so that the cups could swing out as it spun. The design was pretty easy because these don't need to spin 360 degrees, so I don't need to use tight tolerances or shaft collars or anything like that. And then this part's just got that eight millimeter nub protruding out the center so that the bearing can fit right onto it. And you can see that it actually, it works, um, I don't know if I dare say well, but it does do what I expected where you get this sort of roller coaster effect and as it spins faster, the balls move more out toward the side. And that's where you get that expression of balls to the wall. It's really not an innuendo or anything inappropriate at all. It's referring to the balls of like a steam governor like this, right? So you know that it's when it's, when it's moving at maximum capacity, that's when the balls are, are, are furthest extended, right? They're to the wall. Here it is. This was the inspiration for that stupid little anemometer. It's a centrifugal governor. These things are so cool. These giant steel balls are attached to like a linkage that as they move outward, because of the forces that, you know, as it spins and they move outward, it is attached to like some sort of scissor mechanism or like a linkage that then regulates the flow of the fuel or the steam or, or whatever so that it, it regulates itself so that if it starts spinning too fast, it closes the flow off such that it slows itself down. And if it starts slowing down too much, then it lets more flow in. So it keeps something at like this constant, uh, more or less a constant output. It has nothing to do at all with the wind. And honestly, this device doesn't regulate itself at all. It was more of a aesthetic inspiration, but still kind of a novelty, even if it doesn't, you know, do anything useful in my case. But these actually ended up being pretty heavy, as you can tell by just how long it spins just with one quick throw. And that's, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's just not really what you're looking for. So I made a print in place version, which is a little bit dinky and you know, it all has to be the same color, which is a little bit less fortunate. I kind of enjoyed the color scheme. But if I put that on there, you can see that, oh, that's the other thing. It has to be smaller because the entire uh, like diameter needs to be able to fit on a print bed. But you can see, you know, it works just as well, right? I really, I think the design is so funny. Oops, this one got stuck. You see that? It looks kind of dorky, but it's it's fine for what it is. And it does still do the same thing. In fact, this one has a better chance, I think, of when the wind starts blowing to actually extend because the wind doesn't have to blow quite as hard uh, because they're not moving so far out, right? So this one's probably more realistic that it's going to work in the real world. I'll put the files on Thingiverse for both of these aberrations, should you want them. I decided I wanted to, I've been making a lot of files and stuff recently. I've still been doing projects. I just haven't really been uploading videos about them. Partly because, like I said, I get it in my mind that something needs to be a big deal to be a video. And now I'm kind of trying to, you know, bring myself back to, no, it doesn't have to be a huge thing every time I make a video. Sometimes, you know, I just made something kind of, kind of neat, kind of cute and fun. And I decided I wanted to show people. So this has been the governometer, which is a combination of the words governor and anemometer. I and probably the most clever person that's ever lived. In the, the boxes down there, I've got the parts, I've got a ton of stuff for my first like truly sponsored project with, uh, with PCB Way. So pre shout out to PCB Way for sponsoring me. I've got a whole lot of stuff to do on that before it comes out though, um, hopefully within the next two weeks or so, but really, really exciting stuff. So thank you everybody for patronizing Christopher's Factory in a good way. And I hope you have a wonderful day.